Hello, my name is Leo. Here's how to IT. Today we're building a test bench fan on the chip. This fan could be used to cool the entire PC, just VRM plus CPU, graphics card, or the decoration. To complete this build, we need a regular PC fan, a voltage step up converter, some form of protection for the naked PCB. I choose this multiple glue from Shoe Glue. A regular hanger. And the last but not least, we need a clip too. I choose to work with power first. Adjust the output voltage by turning the little dial on the little board. Any number from 5 to 12 will be okay. The higher the number, the more air will be generated. The same thing applies to noise level. Originally, I was going to use an Ethernet cable for this project. The copper wire inside is hard enough to serve as an insert pin for my fan. But I found some fan split cables at my house. Even better. Next, just soldering the cable to the pins. To make the soldering easier, I use a little bit multiple glue I showed earlier to hold the wire and the 4-pin connector in place. Then I use more to cover the entire board except the micro USB port and the 4-pin connector. This thing is super easy to work with. It is the same as Play-Doh. So from now on, I'm gonna call that Play-Doh. If you want, you can use a 3D printer to print a case for this. But the idea of making these projects as cheap as possible. So I choose the simple and dirty solution. Yes, look how dirty my hand is. Then I add some texture to the Play-Doh by using the screwdriver. It took about a day to drive, so we move on to the fan and stand. Before we doing anything, let's take a bath for the old fan. The Corsair fan is powerful and efficient. Love Corsair's products. First, I put the hook into one of the fan mount hole. Then secure that by twisting the hanger. Next, I straight the rest of the hanger Then twist them like so because the wire is relatively thick and hard it is a bit hard to twist that. To have a better look I use a 120 grit sandpaper to remove the outside coating. It would be better to sand it before twisting them. At first, I want to use another clip to match the silver color on the hanger. But I end up using this one. This is the look of the final product. Right, thanks to the clip, I could basically put this fan anywhere I want. It look not bad on my desk. The next day, the Play-Doh is dry. We're done. You notice the shape is different now. Unfortunately, the converter doesn't work. Maybe my soldering technique is too poor. I deserve to make it again. So this time, I choose a different Play-Doh from another brand. This one even cheaper. 
By the way, there's another fan on top of Lego. That's the pop-up fan projects I done earlier. I mount the fan on the DVD drive so that the fan will rise up like a model X. If you are interested, I put the link on the top, maybe on the bottom too. Okay, the moment of truth. It works! Yay! It is optional to add this one. This is a on-off switch plus a fan speed controller. It is unnecessary for me. I only use this when I render the video. The CPU does thermal throttling without the add-on fan. Because I pushed my all 4790K to 5.1 GHz. Maybe another video for overclocking. By the way, the Walmart PC that you see on the video, I built it inside the IKEA wooden box. I think it looks really dope. That's one of the reasons I haven't upgraded my PC today. I spent about $3 for this project. It doesn't include the PC fan, the clip, the hanger. The step up converter costs a dollar and the play doh costs about one dollar per piece. I use two. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions of this project, feel free to ask on the comment. Hope you like this project. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Or maybe consider to subscribe to my channel. I got so many cool projects on the way. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Leo. Here's how to IT. I'll see you on the next project. Bye.